Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about investing in cards and how it didn't turn out to be a good idea for me, at least me. I do regret uh, pretty much every investment in cards, even the ones that have done very well. Uh, you could have invested in stocks and I think long term they would have been far more liquid and better investments, but there's not as much of a flex, right? Whenever I show you my stock portfolio, not many people are super excited when I show you a few black lotuses. Yeah, you guys are a few hundred dual lands. You guys get really excited. So I kind of understand that not every investment is as visually appealing, right, as other investments. But these stocks have done really well for me. My home has gone almost 80% up in value according to the government for tax reasons, I guess. And other things have really become quite good, including my marketing agency and my law firm. They've done incredibly well, so I should dedicate more time. And that's kind of the video I'm making right now is time and assets. And, you know, there's a lot of layoffs. There are uh, Intel made massive layoffs recently. There's a lot of concern that perhaps a recession is going to hit. And I would actually agree with that 100% that we are going heading towards that direction. Stocks are down, people are being laid off, any good jobs are all gone, AI is here, and we should have probably been in a recession since COVID. To be quite frank with you, that was probably, if we were honest, instead of inflating, th these recession numbers, I know people, oh, we're not officially in a recession. These numbers can be manipulated. So, these numbers are mass manipulated all the time by the government so then the citizens can be controlled. If you feel like you're in a recession, regardless of the numbers, that is a feeling. That is a feeling you have. And the government, no matter what numbers they tell you about, oh, the economy is going really well, everyone's got great jobs and so on. If you don't feel that way, there are other people who don't feel that way as well. So back to uh, investing in cards. I think this was a serious, serious mistake for most people. Investing in cards is not a long-term solution to financial problems. In fact, I was watching uh, a video on a guy who spent $50,000 and, and all his time watching and supporting and buying things from Twitch streamers and so on. I mean, you know, you know the type, right? And he got into debt as a very young man, spending $50,000 of credit card money on paying influencers and, uh, I guess, subscriber trains. He was give, gifting subscribers on Twitch to his female uh, first uh, favorite female streamers and how that got out of control. Well, um, buying cards can get no human being needs that many cards. I'm going to read you a letter I received a long time ago. I haven't read it. So Alpha Investment Techniques. Hello, enjoy the channels. ex Patreon here. I think it's worth considering what made Alpha Investment successful. 2021 Marco environment. Lots of extra money in the system due to low interest rates, stimulus checks, PPP loans, and companies hiring like crazy. Money was flowing to every asset possible, no matter how stupid. Remember NFTs when people were paying 100k for virtual pictures of ugly mon monkeys? MetaZoo was the cardboard NFT in my opinion. Our stocks, Peloton to the moon. Parasocial relationship, virtual friend. Post is every day, a Timmy can watch every day and start to consider Alpha Investments as his virtual friend. Even though Alpha Investments does not know anything about Timmy. Same thing that streamers and VTubers are doing. FOMO level 1, Patreon access. Whoa, the Patreon access is locked. You can't get it. Wait, you tried and tried and tried and finally found a slot. You're not worthy. Now to see the good stuff. FOMO level 2, don't let the fee go to waste. Well, I'm paying a $15 a month, so I better buy something or else the fee will go to waste. FOMO level 3, the kit is sold as a event. You don't go to Alpha Investments website, browse the kits, and decide to buy your, at your leisure. You sign on at Friday night, 8 p.m., wait for the weekly sale. Wait for the weekly sale. 
to drop and then decide if you should buy then. But hurry up, it could sell out quick. Yeah, a lot of these emails, the first line in all caps is, this will sell out. Or buy now, send money now. If you decided to check out on the sale, you've already mentally taken some step towards it. Joining the Patreon, paying the Patreon, logging on at Friday night. At also, some sales could sell out in 5 to 20 minutes. So you feel very pressured to make a decision right then or you would be left behind. FOMO level 4. If you unsubscribe from the Patreon, you are banned for life and can not ever. This is kind of a weird thing, right? Never really understood this. Rejoin. He doesn't want people to dip in and out. He demands loyalty and adds another level of FOMO to keep these sub fees coming in. Hey, nothing you, you're you interested in the next six months, but sorcery is coming up next year and you've unsubscribed, you're missed out. This one is really weird, psycho, manipulative, whatever you want to call it. Imagine if you unsubscribe from a cell phone provider and they wouldn't let you resubscribe next year because you were on loyal Timmy, laugh out loud. So um, unlike, you know, there, there are actually probably laws and regulations against this. Like if you, let's say, unsubscribe from your energy company and then and then a few months later you don't like your new energy company, you can always, I mean, they're happy to take you back. The same with cell phone providers. I, this is like kind of one of the only examples I've seen of this. A lot of what Alpha Investment has done is very interesting from a manipulative standpoint. I think my favorite one is when the more you buy MetaZoo, the more he charges you per box. I've never seen that be happen before. Now, suppose there is an alternative universe where Alpha Investment did not post videos every day and did not use FOMO techniques. If you simply browse the store, look at the bundles without any sort of time, pressure, drop, hype, or fee that you felt you had to make the most of, would he sell as many of these kits? Not a chance. So I'm, I tend to agree with that, right? The weird thing is, I don't think he did anything straight up illegal. He feels shady, maybe a little over the line, exploitative, but could you really point to anything he did and say it's illegal, straight up a scam? I don't think so. He wasn't doing anything blatantly wrong as stealing consignment watches, which Alpha Investments definitely watches my videos because he had no interest in Rolexes until my other channel. My other channel gets more views than his current channel. It's at a million views a month now. It's a political channel <laughs> of all things, right? And and that's kind of why I'm kind of tapering down this channel a little bit. Have you noticed? Feel free to use any of this content in your videos if you want to. Not that I expect you to since you are, must be getting so many emails. Laugh out loud. Anyway, peace. Yes, I received multiple emails like this, and uh, this one was January. I've finally opened my email for this uh, channel, and yeah, it's pretty bad.